But when they were young bucks growing up and they were getting in a lot of trouble themselves. So, hey, I was like, why don't you come hang out with me? Did Sean Diddy Combs extend a royal invite to one of his now infamous parties? The hip hop mogul recalled wanting Prince Harry and Prince William to join his guest list, sharing in a resurfaced interview with Graham Norton in 2011 that the brothers were once welcome in his social circle. Did he explain that he understood the princes were likely unavailable as they started settling into their adult roles and responsibilities at that time, but he went on to note that he thought they could have fit in a few years earlier. You know, before when they were young bucks growing up and they were getting in a lot of trouble themselves. So, hey, I was like, why don't you come hang out with me? Though Harry and William are not believed to have ever taken Diddy up on the offer, they did meet and pose for photos with the rapper at a 2007 star-studded concert event for their late mother, Princess Diana. And he and Graham appear to agree that the extent of their relationship likely ended there. I do worry because I read that on your kind of that you want to get uh, Prince William and Prince Harry to uh, to a Diddy party. I don't think, not, not, not anymore. I mean, before, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know, ruin our royal no, wedding yeah, for I'm, us. I'm not, <laughs> trust me, they're off the list. Indeed, William went on to marry Princess Catherine just months later and the pair share three children, while Harry and wife Meghan Markle tied the knot in 2018 and live in California with their two kids. Many of Diddy's past comments about his A-list connections are seeing new light in the wake of his bombshell arrest and indictment. As of September 2024, the entrepreneur is facing felony counts of sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and transportation to engage in prostitution. The charges stem from accusations that he used drugs and violent threats to force people to participate in alleged parties known as freak-offs. He pleaded not guilty at his arraignment and was denied bail.